And Casey Shepard, Cartel, Osmer, Zach, Amer, Golcap, Mohammed, Baigul, Yigi, Arslan, Hadi Ostemir, G James Gist, Jamar Smith, Jerry Butzel, Oz Shabas, and Berkai Jandan playing for Bacha Sahir. The FIBA Europe Cup winners last year, and as you saw in the standings, both these teams, one and two, Aaron Nimberg and Bacha Sahir College going up against each other here on game day seven. So the Basketball Champions League, remember you finish first in the standings. You go straight to the round of 16. If you finish second or third, you go into the play-in. And as we remember last year, as we remember last year, it was uh, quite, quite an adventure, the round of 16 play-in. And uh, we're already looking forward to that aspect of this competition. The lights lower and Bacha here College will be introduced second, but right now it's Aaron Nimberg running out onto the floor and hopefully they won't bump into each other because it is pretty dark out there on the court. See Simmons coming out, Paliza. And Jakob Tuma. And now Bajazir College will be introduced. Casey Shepard comes out and uh, certainly a player to keep an eye on throughout, especially in crunch time. This guy can really come out and make some big plays late. Mohamed Baigu, also a rough and tumble player that has that capability of scoring in spurts. Oh, Shabash, you see him over there. James Gist, uh, the veteran, many European campaigns over the years. Jerry Buciela, and there's Shabas. So Shabas is uh, also Arslan. We saw him come out. Chandan. So, just minutes away here from the start of the campaign and coaches exchange pleasantries. And again, with this being a battle of one and two teams, uh, the stakes are very high. Both of these teams trying to get into the play in. You want to get into that second or third spot, or possibly if who knows what's going to happen to Bobao over the next three game days, they might end up losing all three. You might have a chance to go ahead and, and win this group. Uh, but as it is, it certainly looks like uh, second and third place are the best chances for these teams. And the winner today uh, will take the inside track to getting one of those two spots. Referee and crew today from Spain, Luis Castillo in the middle. Georgios uh, Porcinitas on the left from Greece and, Jak and Gerrit Jak Jacobs uh, from Belgium on the right. 
Here Jacobs amongst the three referees, and the starting five will be Nate Watson, Klassen, Lockett, Krish, and Frantisak Rilic for Aaron Nimberg. And Sokolowski, Ladislav Sokolowski again now walking the sidelines of this proud Czech team. Kartel Osmerzak, Mohamed Baigul, Arslan, uh, Jerry Luciele, and James Gist starting for Bacha Sahir. Two games on the road, but they won the previous one at home. So Vucil's averaging 15.3 points and 10.7 rebounds per game. In the speed area, don't try to steal. Just speed back. 20 points per game. They have transition and fast break score. Everybody, speed back, play by ball five. We can do First offense, onside head. Lead, loser. Mommy is back secure. Second one, much more for you. I want good spacing. When we drop the ball inside, five men come. Pick and roll. Okay. With the number seven, we play same defense. And of course, number winning the first game 79 76 between these two teams. Klassen had a double double in his two games with Nimbert so far. Erhan Erdak, the head coach of Bacha Sahir. Again, efficiency per game, 24.3. He does a lot of stuff to help this Aaron Inberg team. 15.3 points, 10.7 rebounds, even 3.3 assists. Somebody you got to keep an eye on. But also uh, Smith, excuse me, he uh, does a lot for Bacchus here. That Smith, 12.7 efficiency, just an out-and-out -out score. You got to make sure you keep an eye on him. Arslan comes into this averaging 10 points per game. And for Aaron Embrick, you definitely want to keep your eyes on Nate Watson today. We're underway here in Istanbul. Bacchus are here taking on Aaron Nimberg. And Nimberg winning the opening tip, attacking the basket to the right and getting it down low and scoring and right on cue. Big Watson goes up for his first two points. Averaging 10 points, 4.7 rebounds per game. Arslan doesn't wait, doesn't mess around, gets his name on the scoreboard early. 
This time, Watson short. And that alley-oop. Watson called for the foul. Bozzielli be going to the free throw line. So Bozzielli, the left-hander, gets to the line and makes the first. Comes into the shooting at a pretty good clip, 76.9%. Only makes one of two. Pointer, no good for Nimberg and botches it here. College come the other way. Arslan gets it over to how about that? Gist showing that beautiful stroke. When you can shoot it like that, you've got career longevity as long as you stay in shape. Always room for a shooter. Coming back the other way and missing was Klassen, but they get the offensive rebound. Klassen puts it up again. And Klassen, 30 years of age, hails from, from Canada. Gist goes with the left-handed shot on the turnaround. Now quickly. Nimber pulling up and missing. Watson goes for the rebound. That was Lockett missing it from a long way out. Bozzielli now. So Bozzielli active early. Class into the corner. Oh boy, the pass telegraphed and right into the hands of Arslan. Gist out of the wing. And in fact, that was Arslan or Beigel stroking that. So Arslan had the steal. And Mohamed Beigel strokes it. Klassen doesn't wait around, puts it up quickly, and Bociali with the rebound. Well, again, Klassen, he can shoot it. Comes in shooting 35.7% from deep. There's Beigel, is second. Oh, Mohamed Beigel can be a streaky player. And once he sees the basketball go in, he is looking for his next opportunity. And that's just a wide open three. He takes full advantage. So, uh, Sokolowski calls timeout. Just here at college.
They've come in having hit 28 threes on the season at a clip of 33%. It's acceptable. Maybe a little lower than you'd want, but. And certainly has not been the uh, the strength of Beigel this season. He came in having made two of 12. So throw that scouting report out the window if you are Nimberg and leaving him open. Explosive drive in Bozzielli with the block. Get it out of here. That was Gerald Simmons thinking he was uh, going to get to the rim, but Bozzielli does what a rim protector does. He just swats it out of bounds. Pass to the corner, and well, that's much better. So Simmons turns out even better because he gets a three pointer. Give the assist to Martin Krish, the Czech international who's checked into the game. Osmer Zach also in the game now for Bacha Sahir and Gist missing and a chance to counter. Here goes Simmons. He's got some smooth moves, doesn't he? But at that time, uh, the finish wasn't there with the jumper. Offensive foul, Bussielli is trying to establish position down low and Krish. Very alertly plants his feet on the outside of the semicircle. Jandan now comes into the game as well for Bacha Sahir. Krish goes out after taking the punishment and the veteran Peter Binda checks into the game for Nimberg. Now 40 years of age, boy, I'll tell you what. Great job. You got to be a true pro to play in your 40s, like Peter Bender, the former Czech international. And here he is launching it from the right, and he's still got the jumper too. How about that? The other way. And watch this here, some of the air taken out of the balloon with that last shot. Chandon for three. Just clangs it. And oh boy, getting a little bit of love from the rim. The ball bounces onto the front of the rim for Klassen and then falls over. Falls down through the hoop. And the drive into the corner and, and now another foul has been called. Puts the LA into the paint, passes it back outside. And Michael, are you kidding me? That is his third three-pointer of the game. He's already surpassed the total number of three-pointers that he had hit this season. He is as hot as a Turkish firecracker. Now he's coming the other way. And Jandan misses. They hustle down. Beigel keeps it alive. Oh, beautiful bounce pass, and Buzzielli knows what to do with that. Great work, Arslan. Here's Klassen. They want to keep an eye on Poliza as well. He's in the left corner. 
Ivanovskis is in the game now. Here he is going to work. Puts it up. Oh, good left hand. Rapolas Ivanovskis. Big fella comes from Lithuania, measures 2.08 meters in height. Pass back out to the wing. And this time Beigel shows he's human by missing. Because even Oscus again into the corner. Simmons brings and makes it rain. And now it's a one point game. Stenberg team has a nice flow. A nice rhythm to their offense. Uh, but sometimes it comes down to just making shots and they're starting to make them now. Jandon. And Jandon's attempt rims out. That was Beigel. Or Jandon, excuse me. Bible leading all scores with nine points. With those three three pointers, Tuma comes in and Klassen goes out. Jakob Tuma, young point guard. Here's Simmons, gets in the paint. Dumps it. And Chavas, I believe, has been whistled for the foul. Simmons causing all sorts of problems. And Beigel got there just a little too late, the referee said. Paliza trying to get his first points. Casey Shepard drifts in, misses with the runner, even Oscus. And missing on the break, this time with Tuma. So just when uh, they, they heated up Aaron Nimberg, they've cooled off a little bit. Tuma. Uh, this is miss, and then the ball knocked out of bounds on, from Beigel. Gist comes back in, and Arslan takes a seat. Yid Arslan goes out with two assists and two rebounds to go with his three points. Now Benda, and Benda misses. So the team's cooling off a little bit here at the end of the first quarter. Battle of one and two teams. Chavez doing a great job of backing his way down and then Benda called for the foul. Yeah, Benda lowered his arms. Good defense until the very end and then didn't have his arms straight up. Made it an easy call for the referee. And Chavez. Comes to the line and misses with his first attempt. He's a fan favorite, Shabas, obviously. 35 years of age. Longtime Turkish national team player. Played on the Turkey team that made it to the final of the FIBA Basketball World Cup in 2010 when Turkey hosted it here in Istanbul. Played on numerous other Turkey teams. Oh, Simmons, boy, they can't keep up with him. And it just comes down to whether he's going to make it or miss it, and he misses it. Chavez again, going to work on Benda. And Gis crashes. Paliza avoids the turnover quickly to the other end. Ivanovskis over to Benda, gets away from him. And oh boy, Benda 
tries to prevent the breakaway, commits the foul, and Beigel, they're calling the unsportsmanlike. Nobody else back, and again, that's an easy call for the referee. Well, to be honest, I mean, it wasn't brutally obvious. It looked like an unsportsman like in live action. And when you slow it down, he's definitely kind of reaching towards the ball. But I, I think more times than not, they're going to call the unsportsman like in that situation. Well, Beigel has uh, put in some good work today. He's been carrying this team with the scoring, goes to the line. Makes the first of two unsportsmanlike free throws. He's got 10 points. And Bacchusa here, college, will also maintain possession after this. So this could be a very big sequence. But he only makes one of two. And it all, it all happens because, for whatever reason, Benda doesn't catch the basketball. So timeout has been called. Let's go down to the bench. Organized matchup. Uh, I want to don't touch from side. Okay. Come in, man. Touch card. Come in, Casey, Hardy, James. Berkay buradan başlayıp boşaldı. Okay. After Stegger for him. Pass. Hand off. We got 14 seconds. Don't rush. After Hadi. Erken yapman lazım. Offense çal çalıyorlar bunlara. Yeah, Bir Casey. Play it for him. So that was a little bit of good fortune for Klassen. But that ball falling through the hoop. Ivanovskis getting himself on the board here. 25.1 seconds remaining. Klassen. Played for Mike Taylor last summer at the, for the Fraser Valley uh, Bandits in the Canadian League. There's the three pointers. Good! Wow, Beigel has been utterly sensational. His fourth three pointer. He's doubled the number of threes he had coming into this game. So, nine seconds. And the runner from Simmons and foul call before. And Simmons again, and this time it doesn't drop. They keep it alive, but it goes out of bounds. So at the end of one, Botches here College lead it 25 to 19 over Aaron Ember. Boy, both teams uh, knocking down the three pointers. Six of nine, four of those for Botches here of their six was, were made by Mohamed Baigul. Aaron Ember, five of 11 from deep. Ember have not made it to the line. So here's a look back at the highlights and 
see the uh, the three pointers falling, and if you were the uh, the Czech coach of Nimberg, Ladislav Slakolovsky, you have to be wondering if this is going to work. And then his team heats up, and they come back, and now just a little bit of a surge. So Baigul again, time and time again, hitting three pointers. And when you've got a hot hand, you ride it. And that's exactly what Bacha Zahir College did. He would have won a three point shooting contest tonight. But look at that rejection from Buzzielli. Get it out of here. And Simmons says, okay, you're gonna do that. Well, then I'm gonna score a three pointer because we're gonna maintain possession. I'm gonna take this shot and I'm gonna make it. Uh, Klassen back in the game really good player if he heats up be a big factor for Nimberg Chavez gets it back to Baigul Baigul and he just keeps pouring in the points folks Mohamed Baigul now with 15 and flashing red lights. How is this happening? Mohamed Baigul just dominating. Almost a turnover, but Klassen able to get the basketball now in the corner and it doesn't drop. Chavez gets inside. Gist crashes the offensive boards. He goes up and he does what James Gist does. That was Lubos Kovar who missed on that last three for Nimberg, and they are now down by 10 points. Oh, look at the hustle. Great play from Casey Shepard. And it, frustratingly for Shepard, Mike Michael stepped out of bounds. And that was just Casey Shepard wanting it more than Klassen. He actually got on the ground. You could see the foot just kind of slid on the on the baseline. Vasquez goes out. Simmons goes out. Watson comes back in. And Bocielli also returns for Shabbat. So, wholesale changes here for both teams. So, it's Klassen, Krish, Lockett, Rilich, and Watson on the court right now for Nimber. Rilich in the right corner. Krish almost had the ball stolen by the quick hands of Casey Shepard. Klassen, a little space. Oh, it goes out. Come, looked like it was going down, and then ball goes off of Krish. Look at this. Ooh. Might have gone off of Mohamed Bible. Could have been a break there for Bacha Zahir. Oh, Casey Shepard slips down. And Nimberg, incredibly, Relich was going off to the races, but he forgot the ball. Goes out of bounds. This was uh, Shepard not doing it on purpose, but basically giving away the two points. <laughs> Relich doesn't pick it up. So the Czech coach, Sokolovsky, trying to get some clarification on something. His uh, assistant, Pavel Budinsky, the former Czech national team coach. His last tournament in charge of the Czechs back in 2013 at the Eurobasket in Slovenia. So that is a pair of good minds over there, good brain trust. 
So right now their team trailing by 10 points against Basha Sahir. We've had this great start thanks to this man right here, Beigel. He gets it over to Bucieli. Oh boy, they're putting the ball in the basket. This game is going in the wrong direction right now for Nimberg. Watson gets it before it goes away. Classic turns. Botches it here, comes away with another basket, uh, another bas uh, another rebound. That was Chris who tried his luck from three-point range and missed. Now the running shot, no good, but the foul, the whistle blows, and free throws coming for Casey Shepard. So the foul on Lockett. Arslan comes back into the game. Bucieli misses. Shepard or Klassen up ahead and great hustle back. Knocking it out of Rilich's hands. Casey Shepard. And he just had no idea that Shepard was behind him, Rilich. Both these teams, one win in their three basketball Champions League games. Uh, but there's three teams with the same record. So they're right in the hunt. And this time they get another, some more love from the rim, bouncing off the front and falling through the hoop to get it back to a 10 point game. So Klassen's had, had some good fortune twice now. Lockett picks up his second. Trying to lock it down on defense. And now lock it. Locks in the rebound. And it takes it all the way. And good hustle in the game. Good three point play. Opportunity with Martin Kreese going to the line on the follow, the putback. What's going on here? Should be Chris shooting the free throw. Oh no, they called the foul before the shot. I thought they were trying to pull a fast one. So they did not count the basket, and Lockett just makes one of two. Didn't hear the whistle blow until Kreese took his shot. Gist. Posting up Kreese. Turns and scores with the left hand. Well, just a powerful move from Gist. Three-pointer, counted. Lock it. Jamar Smith tonight so far for Baches here at college and again from the right corner another three-pointer this time Arslan Yeah, Arslan With Lockett flying past And this Baches here college team has been shooting it lights out Seven of 11 from three-point range. Botches in here at college. Use 
So that was uh, Klassen, second time getting the ball going off the front of the rim and falling through. And the whistle blows and a foul on the perimeter. So getting some of the moisture up off the floor. Uh-oh, look out. Beigel has that look like he wants to put up some more three-pointers. Oh, the bounce pass gets away from Watson. Now the dump to Buzzielli. Lock it. And the mid ranger. Coming up on the midway point of the second quarter, and you think that Botches here College might be able to just lower the boom here before halftime. Difficult moments for Nimberg, just trying to hang in. They pass it down to Buzzielli, and he saves it in bounds, starts a break. Oh, and the foul called, much to the annoyance of Osmer Zach. Thought he had picked it clean. Well, the referee was right there. Powerful front court. Shepard comes back for Oz Mizrak. I almost wonder if his reaction got him taken out of the game the way he was questioning the referee on that one. Locked it. Looked like his feet were slipping a little bit. Klassen. Long jump shot, not there. Krish with the rebound goes up and it's contested and the foul has been called on Shepard. Yeah, got him on the, on the left arm as he was going up. Well, so far so good for the home team here as they go for win number two on the season. And Chris goes to the line and makes the first. And gets the second to drop as well. So they're now three of four at the line. Not many opportunities. Botches here also just three of six. Watson. Trying to keep Bozzielli out of the lane. Doesn't get it done. And Bozzielli fouled. Nate Watson played for the Friars Providence College back in the day, 2017 to 2022. Here's Buzzielli making his first. Yeah, there's a really nice feel around this. Bacha Zahir 
the college team. There's a real nice atmosphere at the games. Krish passes up. Oh, beautiful play. Oh, Lockett misses the layup. Klassen goes for the steal. Look at the ball handling from Arslan. Here's the applause from the crowd. And what's Yelly called for a foul? Look at Arslan go behind the back. Not getting me, and you're not getting me. A little bit of trickery. And Bozzielli there called for the foul, trying to post up. And yeah, you could see why he was a little bit annoyed by that call. That's his second foul. He's battling away. Lock it. A little step back. And that two goes. And it's back to an eight point game. Three and a half minutes to go in this first half. Arslan, silky smooth at the line. Krish with the short one. And good hustle from Nimberg to get it back. Lockett steps back again. Oh, great hustle. Coming up with the steal on the ground. That was even Oscars. Now he's got the basketball. Low dribble. And puts it up and in. That was all even Oscars there. The hustle play to get it, to steal it. And that leads to a timeout for Bacchus here College. So even Oscar's talking things over with Krish and Lockett. That's some nice work to build this lead. They don't want to blow it here right at the end. Over the final two and a half minutes. And you get the feeling that Aaron Imberg sense uh, the potential of a comeback here. So Lockett raises his hand to say he committed the foul. Not calling it tight. Passes out and Arslan strikes from the wing. Well, she liked it. And back to an 11 point lead. Good, strong move, but then the finish wasn't there for Krish. 
tried to score with his left hand, but just didn't get any control on the shot at the end. And that leads to another three-pointer. And just like that, Jandon strikes. And they've got their biggest lead of the game, 14 points. It's gone south quickly here for Nimber. Ivanovskis, nice play. Good spot from Klassen. Look at Baigou. Goodness me. Just crossed up Klassen. Yeah, Klassen commits the foul. Well, Chavez comes back in to finish the first half here, the final minute, as Gist goes over to take a seat. And Mohamed Baigul with 15 points, leading all scores, goes to the line for the second time. points. Kukov comes into the game and lets Beigel sit down. Cedric Simmons, or excuse me, Simmons also back in. Gerald Simmons. Here's Simmons for three. Got it. The second time after an offensive rebound, Simmons has uh, made a three-pointer. Shepard, bounce pass, Chavas. Boy, he was bumped from behind. He looked over at the referee and said, aren't you going to call a foul on that? And Shepard... Reaches from behind and commits the foul with 17.2 seconds remaining. Look at Chavez here. He goes up and gets... Looked like he got hammered from behind by Ivanovskis. So Klassen, I wonder if he was talking to the referee like he wanted an sportsman like. Takes his time and makes the first. And the second as well. So he's got 10 points. By Gould. Is he going to finish with a flourish? He's going to put it up, isn't he? He does, and he makes it. And why are we not surprised? What a half of basketball for that man right there. Muhammad Baigu. Gets the hugs, the kisses, you name it. He could really do hardly anything wrong. His shot was on the money. And Lubos Kovar not able to hang with him. He goes to 19 points. I mean, Mohamed Baigul, goodness me, what did you eat today for breakfast? 53 to 40. Bacha say here, college on top of Aaron Nimberg at halftime. Well, as well as Botches here, College has shot it from deep, 9 of 13. Uh, Nimberg aren't too shabby themselves. They've made seven. And in fact, Nimberg out rebounding Botches here, but uh, four more assists and, of course, four more steals 
And uh, that's a good indicator of how this game has gone. Beigel with 19, Arslan 11, Buzzielli with 10. Already three players in double digits for the home team. Well, you could call it the Mohamed Beigel first half because it really was. I mean, he has scored 19 of Bacha Zahir's 53 points. And uh, to lead them, that was a big block from Buzzielli, but then again, right after that, Simmons made a three-pointer. This is it right here. So never fret when you have your shot rejected because uh, if your team maintains possession, you might get a, another chance. And he did, and he made it. Simmons. Also, Peter Bender made it from the right corner. Almost immediately after coming into the game. But Baigul, not just making threes, but scoring on drives. Bocelli, it's not just about the dunks and the low post moves for him. He can also hit that jump shot. That was a two, by the way. And Gist steady as always. Seven points, three rebounds, three of six from the floor. And Arslan, you feel like Yi Arslan uh, has can turn it up a notch whenever he wants to. And again, just such a, a smooth player. Twice dribbling the ball behind his back as he brought the basketball up the floor on one sequence. I think just, just doing what needs to be done, passing it to his, uh, his teammate uh, for the dunk. Lockett came in and Gave Nimberg a lift. He's got eight points in 12 and a half minutes, three of six from the floor, three rebounds. That was Arslan's three. Jandon also joining the three-point shooting party with that made three. 53 to 40, Bacchester here College on top of Aaron Nimberg at halftime. Well, Klassen came into this game for Nimberg as their top overall score, top performer. He's got 10 points. He came in averaging 12 and a half points. So he's uh, on track to have an even bigger game than his average. That was the first time he got some love from the rim. Goal, of course, has just been electric forces and just a quite a display from three point range four or five, 19 points, scoring on drives, three or four from the free throw line. He's doing it all, scoring right at the end of the half as well. It's 53 to 40, Bobchett Sahir College on top of Aaron Nimberg at halftime. We'll be right back. Getting no 
Joe Joy. Cell still has it. And he did well. Had an option inside and what an option. Pustoy back on. Couldn't quite score last time and he went to block that time. He did it. He fouled. Falco double the lead and it could get higher. Don't have to work their way out of a difficult situation. Ragland and Green combining, but no joy on this occasion. Easy points for Galatasaray. They lead by eight. Will it be finished? No, it won't, because that's a fantastic piece of defense. And now he's on the open. Morgan set it up, and it was dropped in. Traster from Morgan. Fifty-three forty, Bochester here college on top of Aaron Nimberg here in the Ulker Sports and Event Hall in Istanbul, the city where East meets West and uh, Basketball Central, really one of the hotbeds of basketball in Europe, Istanbul, country of Turkey, great place. 
a real affinity for the game here, and you can see it uh, the way the crowds turn out. Uh, good domestic league, great domestic league, great, you know, plenty of teams in Europe. And this is a Bochester here college team that is riding the wave of basketball interest and hoping that they can uh, can propel them to oh, great things. I mean, anytime you got the, the quality of players that they've got in their team, it really bodes well. And for Nimbrook, well, first half didn't go as well as they hoped, but they're still in it. 13 points, they can wipe that away quickly, but they got to get stops and they got to make shots. Lebanon's scoring run was uh, the biggest, and Mohamed Baigel, a big part of tonight's success for Bacha Sahir, having a, almost a career game tonight, 19 points in the first half alone. So remember, Aaron Nimberg won the first game between these two teams, 79-76. And came into this uh, contest with, you know, some confidence from, from that win. And it just goes to show you how, how quickly things can change when you remember that game, seven points scored by Baigul. He was one of seven from three-point range. So tonight, it has been a completely different story for Baigul and for Bacha Sahir College. Yeah, he's got some work to do if he's going to get his third double-double of the season. He's got three rebounds. He's already registered the, the points uh, aspect of the double-double. He's come in and he's got 10 points on four or five shooting, but he's got three rebounds. Champions League basketball, the Wilson indoor game ball. And it must have a nice touch to it, nice feel because these players, again, have been red hot. Osmer well, Zach, who uh, had that frustrated reaction to that foul that was called when he thought he had a steal was taken out of the game. Looks like he's trying to make amends here before the start of the second half. Botches are here. College and Aaron Inberg both one and two. Playing in Group D and trying to uh, get a, a valuable win as they chase a spot at least in the play-in for the round of 16. And that is not going to get it done for Nimberg. They throw it away, and Ozmizak just goes right in and lays it up and in and stretches the lead to 15. B 
Benda from deep. How about that? Well, that makes up for the turnover. His pass was intercepted on the previous possession. Oz Mizrak gets away, bounce pass Buzzielli, wide open Arslan, puts it up, and living dangerously Nimberg on that one. I would have put money on Arslan making it. Now lock it. Along with Klassen and the dump down low to Watson. He's going to have his turn, and Buzzielli won that battle. Good defense. Looked like he had, Shepard had gotten away. And uh, Watson collapsed. And now Simmons on the break. How about that? His third three-pointer of the game. And now the turnover. And again, Shepard falls over. And Nimberg knows, you know, you're going to cut into a big deficit. You better get, get it going early. And I'll just Shepard didn't stay on his feet and I almost wonder if he tripped over Buzzielli there. Lock it. Back to Classen. And the pass uh, led Watson a little bit too much. Second turnover of the quarter for Nimberg. Oz Mizrak gets it to Bozzielli. He really does have a nice touch, doesn't he, from outside? Bozziella. And he's got 12 points. Simmons. He's got that look in his eye right now, doesn't he? Simmons now has 12 points. Bozzielli tried to make the pass. Couldn't get it past that defense and then lock it quickly to the other end. Oh, great hustle from Bozzielli. Goodness me. Rejection. It looked like decent defense from Watson. And then Butchell is so mad, he hustled down and got the swat. But they get another three-pointer from Klassen. And now it's a six-point game. And the way they shoot their three-pointers, Nimber, you can never count them out. They can erase a deficit in a hurry. Butchell to Gist. And you can count it. Going to the line for a three-point play. Yeah, that was an easy call again for the referee. Can't get enough of that rejection from Buziella. So they don't fully capitalize. And Ember have a chance to get even closer now. They can knock down another three. Well, that's a long two. And Bender didn't mess around, did he? He put it up quickly. A lot of coaches want to see that ball movement. Make that defense work. Arslan spins, turns around. Oh, man, he is good, isn't he? Underrated. Simmons and his fourth three-pointer of the game. Wow. Good looking shot. He is 
pouring in the points. Gerald Simmons. And now Lockett has it. Watson. Great work. Oh, terrific hustle from Lockett. Boy, the determination on that one. Look at that. He's bringing a little bit of toughness, a little bit of animosity to the game. Look at him. A little bit of anger. Staying with it. Look at him. Take a picture of that. Time out. Oh, is that capitalizing on that turnover and it looked like it was going to be their quarter but then Nimberg started putting up three pointers and now they've got 11 threes on the night. Pichella again getting a look at that one. How about Lockett? He has brought the energy, hasn't he? That was rejected. Uh, but they still got points on that trip down the floor. Lockett with 10 points, six rebounds, a couple of steals. Good work from him. So five points, the difference. And Nimberg getting closer. And Beigel sneaks in there, gets the rebound. Jandon for three. And this time, Benda chases down the ball and a foul called on Beigel. So Nimberg outscoring Botches here College. 16 to 8 in this third quarter. Good box out by, by Klassen. Good pass and goes back outside to Simmons. And Oz Mizrak alert to the fact that he's hit a lot of threes and he just keeps hitting the threes. It wasn't like they were sagging on him. He was able to do a little bit of dance. Look at this, a little jig, and then he fashions some space, and he has shot this team right back into it, 61-59. It'll stay at this end. Simmons, 20 points. I mean, talk about hot. He is ridiculously hot right now in this third quarter. Simmons, six of seven from three-point range. But the three falls for Jandon. His second three of the night. And Simmons gets rejected by Butziela. Pass Buciela out and driving in and missing was Arslan. He gets it back from Buciela, misses. Looked like Jandon got away with a push there, but never have it. This game has livened up. Simmons, if he gets space, he won't say no. Now Klassen. Turn around. Three pointer. Of 
Quick pass out of the wing. Jandon steps inside. And another miss. Lockett trying to keep Arslan off of him. Boy, allowing a lot of contact. Three-point shot. Oh, Simmons this time misses. Follows up the miss. And a little short one misses another one. Suddenly his magic is gone. Ball turns back over to Nimberg. So Butchiela sits down his team with a five point lead. for three. Oh boy, we got a two-point game again. This Nimberg team is absolutely on fire from three-point range. So the whistle blows. And they'll be happy to give that for you, a uh, foul away from Jakob Tunma. Chavez. Posting up, fouled. Now the turnover. Hey, Klassen. Ball boy switched it to his left hand and he has tied it up. 64 apiece. What a tremendous effort from Nimberg in this third quarter. So Tuma picks up his second foul. And with 113 remaining, a lot of basketball to be played here for Botches here College if they're going to send the fans home happy. Klassen's going to go out, catch his breath. Lockett's catching his breath. Important minutes here for the Nimberg players that have come off the bench. They want this uh, comeback to be sustained. Shabas travels. Getting noisy. This battle of one and two teams is a crucial game, and the three point shot doesn't drop for Nimbert. And now if Kreish goes down, looks like he caught maybe an, an elbow or something from Shabbos. Watch this again. Oh, wow. Are they going to go look at that? Oh, they have to go look at that, surely. I think he's in trouble. I think it's going to be an unsportsmanlike. Two shots and possession. Big turnaround after the miss. And Chavez, big play.
Wow. Look at this, Chris, just not even aware. And, and you got to wonder, what was Shabbos thinking? I mean, I think he's definitely going to get the unsportsmanlike, and you wonder if he might get thrown out of the glue. He took it to the face. Well, we're about to get the decision. Unsportsmanlike. So Shabbos is going to sit down. Well, you know what? I mean, a little bit of frustration being let out there. Klish will go to the line and make the free throw. I mean, that, that was a blindside elbow that he caught. And Kish gets it done. And they're going to keep possession. Remember this moment here late in the, four, in the third quarter, rather. It was tied. Botches it here. Basketball in the elbow from Shabas to the jaw of Kish leads to an unsportsmanlike. And now they get a three-pointer from Krish and he just punishes him. He punches back with his shooting. Five points from Martin Krish. He says, if you want to play like that, I can. The animal inside Martin Krish is now awake. It's a five point lead for Aaron Inbert. Shepard looks for the response. Great rebound, Gist. Shot clock about to expire. They get it off the Bible. And it's not going to count. So, Nimberg, what a turn of events. Who saw that coming at the end of the third quarter? And now we're going to see if Nimberg can press on the advantage. Simmons with a little runner. And the three pointer. Hits off the backboard. Well, fascinating sequence of events leading to Nimberg taking the lead. 69-64 at the end of the third quarter. Well, Botches are here, 10 of 20 from deep, 14 of 26 for Nimberg. And folks, they outscored Botches are here college 29 to 11 in the third quarter. It's almost inexplicable how, I mean, yeah, Nimber got hot, they started playing well. They pulled even. And uh, Botches here at college, though, they were all of a sudden just take, kind of had the rug pulled out from under him with the unsportsmanlike foul, which I think was the correct call on Shabbos. Well, Chris uh, certainly felt that he took the punishment and then he made both free throws and a three-pointer. So still a lot of basketball to be played, uh, but that great work from Botches in here at college in the first half has just been wiped away. Just a terrific third quarter. I mean, 29 points for Aaron Nimberg. And they've still got a lot of work to do. Uh, but you look at their three-point shooting and Gerald Simmons, six of eight from three, three-point range and Klassen, Merrick Klassen with four of seven. They have been uh, the players to get it done from deep. Well, the crowd's 
still believes. Wonderful atmosphere inside the Ulker Sport, the uh, Ulker Sports and Event Hall. place would get them into the play-in for the round of 16 if they win the group they go all the way to the round of 16 right now Bill Bauer 3-0 up at the top well, coming right out missing and Buziele keeps it alive he goes up and he's fouled on the putback so terrific activity on the boards from the big fella the Frenchman Even Oscar's in there battling away for the rebound. He's the leading rebounder in this Nimberg team, or on this Nimberg team. Uh, but Buccielli also is the leading rebounder for his team. And he's a good shooter as he has shown all night long, whether it's been at the free throw line or in open play, but then uh, victimized by the commentator's curse. He, make, he misses the second. Oh, lacks a days, but almost turning it over. Even Oscar's trying to score, misses. to the corner and oh, I guess missed everything and then it goes out of bounds <laughs> looks like Bacchisa here uh, did not get the break that time look at this Gist and then on the rebound Beigel rebounding and it looked like it clearly went out of bounds off <laughs> of off of okay so they're gonna have the coaches challenge here and they're gonna win it because that ball clearly went off of Aaron Ember Ball. You can see him saying it. Luis Castillo. Spanish referee is going to award the basketball to Bacha Zahir College. Isn't technology a beautiful thing? Meanwhile, Klassen has checked back into the game. Also back in, and Beigel missing from deep, but even Oscars cannot rebound the miss, and even Oscars called for foul. Away with Buzzielli, I mean that's he was all over. Buzzielli is just a tough customer, isn't he? Great block from Lockett. 
Terrific defense from Lockett. Puzzella, meanwhile, has six rebounds to go with his 13 points. So double-double not out of the question. There you see Budinski talking in the ear of uh, Sokolovsky. Good fun fan environment. And they're trying to get behind their team right now. They need him. Oh, lock it. It opens up for him, and he goes in. He misses, but there's the follow. Even Oscars goes in for the two-handed jam. And Arslan just stood there and watched. And now the ball goes off of Arslan and out of bounds. Boy, he's had a bad sequence. Boy, what, what a win would do for Nimberg's season. It would turn them right around. It could be a real spark for their season. They could get a road win here at Bacha Sahir, and it could change everything. And they've got the lead, the six-point lead. And that flashpoint at the end of the third quarter was huge. And Klassen, well, I think he tried to pass it to even Oscars. Bacchus are here with 13 turnovers, eight. That was the eighth turnover for Nimberg. Butziele down the baseline, back outside it goes. And Gist does great work keeping it alive. And if it's on Lockett, no, it's not. Yeah, good call on Krish, good call the foul on Krish pushing off. Arslan with a pump fake. Gets it back out to Shepard. Shepard almost turns it over, gets it back, puts it up. And I don't know if Arslan got that two or if it was Shepard, but they get the two points. Botches in her college. That's the most important thing. Simmons, oh, look at him go, and Buccielli once again goes up for the rejection, but they've called a foul. Well, talk about Simmons. He is fearless if he's going to go up against Buccielli like that. He's been blocked twice. But even though the foul had already been called, that was a great block because the play was still live. And he could have had a chance for a three-point play. So good job, Buzzielli. But if an Oscars goes out, Watson comes back in. And here's Simmons. I'll tell you what, you don't get much better third quarters than what he had tonight. He caught fire in a big way. Four three-pointers. And his tally just keeps going up, up, and away. He's got 22 points now. Gist from behind the arc. And Klassen and with his six point lead. Nimber looking formidable right now. They got to make the most of every possession, though. Klassen gets blocked. Great defense by Arslan. The dump and Buccielli goes up and he's fouled as well. He's going to the line for a three-point play. Huge sequence. The block at one end from Arslan. Look at this. And then at the other end, Buccielli does this. 
And with that, a chance for a three-point play. Putielli, 15 points, seven rebounds. The foul on Watson, that's number four. Six and a half minutes remaining. And great contest here in the Basketball Champions League tonight. Oh, Butzielli misses another free throw. Good free throw shooter. But he is three of seven tonight. Here Simmons gets a little space, and that was long. You know what they say, you live by the three-pointer, you die by the three-pointer. And that might just come into play tonight for Nimberg. They'll be hoping not, but it could happen. Here goes Casey Shepard. Little runner. How about that? And just like that now, a two-point game. And Nimberg need to talk things over. Seventy-three to seventy-one, Nimber clinging to a two-point lead over Bachesahir College with uh, just over six minutes remaining. Shepard runner cuts it to a two-point deficit and Shepard believe it or not that's his first two points of the game he missed his previous four shots Jamar Smith something's not right with him he might have an illness or maybe slight injury or something because he hasn't played tonight. So lock it in the game. And Nimberg trying to lock it down. This victory. And they got a long time before they can rest easy. Classic. Good pass over to Simmons. Well, he had the, the hot hand. They got him the shot that he needed, that he wanted, but he didn't knock it down. Now a chance to tie it or take the lead. Three-point shot off the back of the iron. Now Simmons again. This time the lob, and Watson not able to get it. And again, another chance. Botches are here at college. Arslan on the break. Good. And just like that, Botches are here taking the lead. As Nimber cool off, Botches here College leading by one. Bounce pass, give and go, and uh, fumbles the ball away. Arslan, Chandon tried to commit the foul and lock it, and now Klassen on the break. And they have definitely cooled off, Nimber. Rogers here at college outscoring them 10 to 4 in this quarter. Jandon over to Shepard. Fakes it, puts it up. Under four minutes to go now. This is what they call winning time. Who's going to make the plays? 
to win this game. Lockett gets in, puts up the shot. Oh! And Watson gets in and taps it up and in. Looks almost like it was tapped in by Bacchusa here. Ball goes out of bounds. And so Simmons is going to take a seat. I don't know if that's the last that we've seen of him, but uh, Lukas Paliza comes into the game. And I think uh, Nimbrook searching for somebody that can make his shot. And mean, meanwhile, Alz Mizrak makes a very important free throw to tie it up at 75. And you also have the issue, don't forget, of goal differential. So first game won by three points by Era Nimberg. So the here don't want to just win. They want to win by at least four points in case that comes into play later on. Coming up on the three-minute mark. Classic turn around and Watson there for the putback and Vucielli goes up for another block. His third block of the game. Quick pass to Vucielli back outside it goes. Shepard decides to come in and makes it. Watches it here now with all the momentum. The bounce pass to Watson. He can't get it to go. And Arslan has it. It's almost as if, almost as if this Nimber team jumped to into a freezer in the change between quarters because they just have gone from blazing hot to ice cold. Butziella turns it over. And a foul called in the end. And if it's on Watson, that's his fifth. So just a little bit too much reaching there for Watson. And he's going to have to sit the rest of this one out. So Watson goes out of the game with four points, four rebounds. Just two of seven from the floor. And really, Buccielli won that battle tonight. Decisively. Buccielli also has four blocks, not three, four blocks to go with his seven rebounds and 15 points. And one thing he hasn't done well tonight is shoot free throws. For whatever reason, he's gone cold. Three of eight from the strike. And that's why Bacchus are here are in the 50s percentage-wise. Even Oscar's the Lithuanian. What a bounce pass to Klassen. And they blow the whistle. It's a great play and probably a smart defensive play to commit the foul. Although I don't think they were trying to commit the foul. It was just a, a little bit too aggressive. And they called the foul on Shepard. So they're not even close to being over the limit. Now the pass, Simmons back in the game, rested but misses. And his three-point shot was just golden in that third quarter. But now it has a little bit of rust on it. Even Oscus, and they force the turnover. Even Oscus takes it the other way, gets it over to Simmons. And he might be reluctant to shoot it now. And another foul, this one on Arslan. 125 remaining. They've got to get something on this end, this, this trip down the floor, you feel like. And good foul by Arslan. 
17 on the shot clock. Both teams one and two. In group D behind by the leaders, Bill Bow. Here's Lockett. Puts it up and makes it. Oh, and now they've called a charge. It looked like a kind of a delayed call. Watch this. And I think they're saying he got him with the, his, see if he throws an elbow. Ooh. Well, they might need to go look at this. Much like they did on Oz Chavez. Whenever they huddle like this, it's a sign that they're going to have, have a take a look at it. And I think Lockett's going to be in trouble. A tale of two unsportsmanlike fouls. That's my prediction. Definitely swings his arm right there. Right there. Bam. The question is, how much did he catch him? Looks like he got him. the unsportsman like that'll be two free throws and possession and the unsportsman like foul he is now over the limit and he is gone and makes the first So with 114 remaining, still time, but now a really big hill to climb for Nimber. Mizrak and takes the lead up to eight. Simmons over to Ivanovskis. Ivanovskis for three, misses everything. I think he might have grazed the net. Now they're going to try to play keep away. Jandon over to Ozmizrak. And they want to take as much time off the clock as they can. So in the end, Klassen commits the foul. So eight points of difference. And Oz Mizrak goes to the line. Uh, you know, this is going to be, this is going to hurt Aaron Imbert. If they end up falling tonight, because they had, con it seemed like they had control of the game at the end of the third quarter. We're definitely in the third quarter. There's still time. At bare minimum, if they can get that deficit down to under three points, that would be ideal. At least they would get out of here with a better goal differential in their meetings with Bacha Sahir College. 
So one of two for Oz Mizrak. And another timeout has been called. Let's go down to the bench. So they got to go quickly here. And Sokolowski knows a lot can happen in 37.4 seconds. You can, you can hit a three, then you can get a steal, make another quick basket. You got to play all, every second of every game. Here's Klassen getting inside and missing the layup, but a foul was called. Boy, think, now the question is, did he foul him before he took the shot? And it appears, yes, he did. So in the end, that wasn't a big miss for Klassen. Simmons gets it up and in, and he's fouled. Can you believe it? Worst possible outcome for Bacchus to hear the foul stops the clock. And Jandon just hacked him on the shoulder. So seven points. Now it's going to be six if he can make this. Excuse me. I thought it was Janet, but I guess it was Arslan. And now it's back to a two possession game. So really not that much time went off the clock. Well, so, I mean, several seconds, but anyway, I think they would take that outcome. They want to get the steal if they can. And if not, they want to commit the foul. And I suppose that was the plan anyway. Tuma commits the foul, puts Bacchus here back on the free throw line. And it'll be Arslan.
So Oz Mizrak goes out, Gutzielli comes back in. And I suppose they want Buzzielli back in there so they can uh, cut off that penetration for those easy baskets at the other end. Arslan gets the first to go. So effectively making this a much tougher task for Nimberg. And he gets both of them to go. So 86 to 78 now, should be. So Shepard comes back in. All we're going to see is three attempts here. Classic. Nope, once again, passes it out. And Simmons goes in. Can't get the drop. Gist takes it away. Shepard has it. And the pass up ahead. And that is going to be it. And Nimberg fall further behind as Beigel adds to his tally. Coming to the other end. And Buccielli had the ball. Didn't keep it. Simmons takes it away. Timeout. Let's see. Maybe. So they do want a timeout. Okay, no, now he says he doesn't want it. He thought there was going to be more time on the clock. But they have to take the timeout, so. And again, when you. Think about goal differential anyway. That's why they make these make these calls. You are here. Point six, point six. Jenny, you are here. Cartel, you are the inbounder. Casey. Mommy, you are here. Casey. Point six, point So we're going to play the final 0 0.6 seconds. And I suppose I think you want to make sure they get the clock right. Funny that we have this delay now when it's going to be really insignificant.
So the basketball is going to be inbounded. Buzzielli puts it up for three. Wow, almost made a three there right at the end. And I think he's going to kind of apologize at the end. He's like, don't worry about it. I think he wanted to wave off the timeout initially. Anyway, Botches are here winning 88 to 80 over Aaron Nimberg. They improved to two and two. Nimberg dropped to one and three. Well, that was great shooting from Nimberg there for a while, but they really cooled off in the fourth quarter. Botches are here, meanwhile, uh, just did what they had to do in that fourth quarter to, to get the win uh, that puts them back in a, a stronger position uh, for that top three finish that they're going to need. Also keeps them in the hunt for first place. It's probably unlikely, uh, but you never know. Or probably second or third place was more realistic. And Arslan ended up having a big game, 22 points. So a disappointment for the visitors from the Czech Republic. So look back at some of the highlights from the second quarter and uh, while you do that, I'll go ahead and go over some of the other issues. Again, it was 22 points for Arslan who ended up uh, leading the team in scoring. Beigel had 21, uh, the majority of those points coming in the first half. Fifteen fast break points for Bachesa here. Thirty points in the paint. Forty-one points coming from the bench for Nimberg. That was the big advantage that they had, and also twenty-four second chance points. Twenty points off of the Bachesa here turnovers, and also their three-point shooting was uh, was crucial for them as they came back and made it a very interesting game that ran all the way to the end. So for Nimberg, they are going to, well, I'll go ahead and also say that uh, for Nimberg, it was Klassen had 18, 27 for Simmons in the end, six of 11 from deep, but he was six of eight at once, six of seven, in fact. And so he cooled off, missed his last several attempts from deep. He was nine of 21 from the floor. 10 points for Lockett, gave a real good effort tonight. 18 for Klassen, although he did have five turnovers and four assists, so not a good assist to turnover ratio for him, uh, but, but scored a lot more than he usually does. He was six of 15 from the floor, four of 10 from deep. And Krish, seven points, six rebounds, three assists, and Dusted, dusted himself off and after the elbow and did a good job of uh, getting to the line for that important play late at the end of the third quarter. Uh, but in the end, Bacchus Zahir came back and win it 88 to 80. So you can see they are now in second place at two and two. Igukea and Babao will be trading blows in this round. And uh, Nimberg right now are third. They get that extra participation point, so they are one in three and in third place. But a lot of work to do for Nimberg if they're going to get into that second or third spot. So from Istanbul, Bacchusahir College win it 88-80 to 80 over Aaron Nimberg in a battle of one and two teams.
And botches to hear college uh, breathe some life into their challenge uh, to extend their season beyond this opening group phase. It, it, it looked pretty easy early on, uh, but Nimber kept fighting away. But in the end, uh, botches here college with Butziel getting the blocks. Arsenal score a lot of points. Beigel scoring, Butziel scoring and dunking. They're right back now to their winning ways. 